Hello everybody and welcome to another Hull City match day vlog. Friday night football under the lights in front of the Sky Sports cameras. The Sky Sports camera bit maybe isn't so good. West Brom at the MKM. They've not got a good record away. They've got an even poorer record on Friday night games televised away from home. So hopefully that plays into our hands. But we have, of course, got our typical Sky TV curse. Hopefully we get over that. Ali Ar is back in the squad. Should be good. I'm going to get down to the stadium now. Just over an hour to kick off. Kua City! Underwear. 17 minutes in then and Carl Darlow has just made an excellent save um, from an effort by uh, Daryl DK. Brilliant, brilliant save. And he's done he's done a couple of them in these first 17, which have been quite uneventful. Corner whipped in by Swift. Cleared at the front post by Louis Coyle. It's been if I was to say there was a team who's had the better of it, it's definitely West Brom. But it's been quite uneventful these first almost 20 minutes. Darlow have forced into a couple of decent saves and he looks he looks nice and composed. Surely offside there on John Swift. Ball in. That's gone. Goal kick. Well, I know Mr. Clear offside there in my opinion. 21st minute then, and Regan Slater's down. Um, playing off the left today. If he's to come off, I assume it would be Malcolm Ebiui who would replace him. 26 minutes in then, and my early assessment uh, so far is Yakushlu for West Brom is brilliant. Him and John Swift are having really, really effective games. Um, but, and, but Louis Coyle down the left, he's having a very, very decent game, dealing with Marco Brighton well. Tete's offside as the ball was played through to him. No, Louis Coyle's having a very decent game in my opinion. Playing really, really well, stopping Mark Albrighton nine times out of ten. Free kick West Brom's way then. Just over half an hour in. It's going to be swift to take it. One man wall of Slater. Ball in. Oh, shade fell on. Well, I didn't film it, but Darlow kept it from just going out of play. McLaughlin down by the left side touchline near where Liam Rossini was. What a brilliant, brilliant tackle. The ball fell to Tete, who was on side. He chested it down to Slater, who the fans were encouraging, encouraging him to shoot. He didn't. He lost it. The ball bounced to Tete, who with his left foot from the edge of the box rifled it into the top corner. What a finish! Come on! We're in a good position here. Coyle, Doherty, ball. Oh! Is that staying in? Griffiths is getting it. Come on, the atmosphere is good in here now. We're in again here, two fan ball. Corner. 
everything is coming up Ben Tete now. From that corner then, it's going to be Callum Elder to take. An in-swinger. Ooh, no, it's out to Louis Coyle instead. Deep ball. Ooh, forces Griffiths into a save. Doherty tackled by DK. Another corner then. Elder will take this one again. Coyle had an effort that was blocked, then it bounced about, then Tete had an effort that was blocked, then Tete had another effort for this one, which was deflected behind. Overhead oh, kick he tried. Elder will put the ball in the middle this time, towards Tete, it's over him though. It's going to bounce out to Simons, ball in the middle, claimed by Griffiths. Tete's got the ball here, can he lay it off? A decent ball into him by Longman, but he just couldn't do anything else with it because he had men around him. Doherty, Coyle, two fan, looks for a flirty ball into the middle towards Tete, just over him. Oh, and that's half time. Well, half time, I've got to say, before our goal, it was pretty much all West Brom. Darlow, who's getting clapped by the fans here as he picks his towel and drink up. Uh, but as soon as Tete scored, it came, came out of nowhere. It's been all us. West Brom have hardly had anything. Um, yeah, just need to keep going as we're going. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant finish by Tete. I've watched it back. The club tweeted it. The Sky tweeted it. What a finish. When I said edge of the box, I meant edge of the six-yard box, by the way. Yeah, what a finish. I'm gutted I didn't get that on camera. But, uh, oh, what a finish that was. Second half about to get underway then. City will get us underway this time. A few more finishes. Like that one in the first half from Ben Tete will be very much welcomed. Underwear. Only two minutes in and dialogue has been forced into a great save. Good bit of play by West Brom. Resulted in a ball being swung in uh, from the right hand side. As West Brom just put one behind for a goal kick. Um, I think it was DK who had a shot. It was expertly saved by Dialo. Brilliant save. City putting the pressure on here. Elder ball in. Too fan. Turn. Block. Coyle, Slater! Come on, City! Short corner routine by City, very quickly taken by two fans. Simons! Oh! That was very close. Two fans held up the ball really well. Tete! Oh! Corner! I didn't get to say what I wanted to say there. Longman played a ball over after dropping the shoulder and a West Brom player was supposed to be broke out. It was a difficult ball for two fans to control. He did really well with it before finding Tete and that's what you just saw. From that corner then, Ozan will take. This is far out as I can zoom. I still can't get everything in shot. Dolin! Yeah! I don't think that's Sean McLaughlin's. I've not watched it back yet. But if he claims it, if he's given us his goal, it is on the tannoy. But if he's given us his goal, and in all the stuff after the game, you'll see his name. But I don't think he will be. But either way, 2 0. Come on! Well, at this moment, I've watched my footage back. It does look to come off Dara O'Shea, uh, West Brom's number four and captain tonight. Um, but we'll see if that changes um, for, well, from when I'm recording this to when I edit this part of the video. But I think it will go down as an own goal for Dara O'Shea. Free kick for West Brom then, right on the edge of the D, I think it is. I can't make it out fully from here. But I think it's just on the edge of the D. Connor Townsend, Pollard stood over it, John Swift stood over it as well. 
Jed Wallace or Jason Monumbi, I can't tell which one it is, has walked away. Oh, we are lucky! And O'Shea puts it over. That was very close from West Brom. Substitution for City then. First of the afternoon. Benjamin Tete comes off after scoring that incredible goal. And replacing him will be fourth top scorer in the championship. Our top scorer, Oscar Estupinha. 70th minute then and the game is, well, it's swung towards West Brom a little bit now. They've made some changes, put um, a couple of extra bodies in the midfield. Notably Nathaniel Shalabar and Taylor Gardner-Hickman. And Gardner-Hickman Gardner especially has made a real difference. He's been quite heavily involved. And West Brom are having a couple more chances now. Dalo made an excellent save earlier on. The shot, another good save by Dalo. This time from West Brom's number 20. Off the top of my head, I think he's Adam Reach. From the corner, swift looping ball in, headed wide. Second change for City. Coming off, Ryan Longman. He's gonna have to, is he directed off on that far side? Had a good game today as Ryan Longman. And coming on to replace him. Returning from injury after his brief cameo for the under 21s the other night, Alaya Syed Manesh and Longman gets a standing ovation as the North Stand sings Alaya's name. 76th minute, West Brom have just had a really good chance. I'm not sure who it was in the middle, but the ball was pulled back to them and they dragged it wide. That should have been 2 1 there and that would have been West Brom's route back into the game in these last 15 minutes plus stoppage time. But they haven't put it in the back of the net just yet. Final change for City. Ozan Tufan will come off to a standing ovation. He applauds the fans as he goes off. Solid game today as Ozan. His name rings around this stadium. Replacing him for the final couple of minutes, Jacob Green. 89th minute and mauled by the Tigers has just come out. That's how you know it's been a successful evening. Come on! Last 20 seconds or so of the four added minutes, Dallow launches it long. Oh! There's fine. There's fine. All eyes on the rear. That's it! Yeah! That is it, ladies and gentlemen. What a win! Much needed. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in Coventry in a week's time. But for now, from me, from here, get in!